our next task is just to start if we assuming that we have subdivided all of those and we are happy with this subdivision for example for this block here of allotments and that block of allotments if we need to start labeling these allotments let's go back to our standard land title layout to see what information do we have here first of all what we are interested in at this stage is the uh, allotments labeling so we need to show the distance for each one of the boundaries we need to show bearing labeling we have the distance as we agreed to decimal digits and we have the area being sorted now the pairing it's to the accuracy of each second so we'll keep that in mind when we go start labeling our uh, allotments here so to start showing these labels on our drawings uh, showing labels after you have finished the design very important guys to finish your design finish all your editing the last thing you need to do is start labeling your design so to label a parcel it's simply what you have to do the shorter way of doing it just by selecting the parcel name that will open the contextual ribbon and the first option on the left hand side will give you to add labels if you open that menu we have options to add a label for single segments for example for this line here or for multiple segments or for the area we can just simply for the area referring to the parcel itself so we need to choose multiple segments and we'll ask which parcel you need to label I'm selecting this parcel here you can follow the direction you've got so it's asking do you want the label direction or the direction labels to be clockwise or counterclockwise usually we we'll go with the clockwise so if I press enter that will take the clockwise option as you can see let's have a quick look at the uh, labels being created so that labeled our distance for each one of these boundaries and with two decimal digits what we wanted and that gave us the bearing direction we have one issue here that the bearing direction has two decimal digits on the seconds we don't want that we want our accuracy to be just down to the to each second so in, in theory here it should read 31 seconds rather than 30.95 seconds so to change that that's what we discussed in our first tutorial we have to go back to the settings we have to go to the parcel feature under the parcel we have the parcel style and the label styles we're looking for the label style and we're looking for the label style of the line and we've got the bearing over distance that's exactly what we're trying to change so if I right click on this I can choose edit and that will open our menu very similar to the label editing menu what we've done earlier in this tutorial for changing the area label this time we're changing the label of the lines on the parcel segments so what we need to change is the bearing segment if we go to the content of that so I chose the bearing from the top menu if I go to the content of that if I choose the from here I have to choose the segment direction this is our content currently there so the content as you can see there we have fixed the measurement type previously on our first lecture but if we look at the precision that's going to the to the decimal digits for the seconds we don't want that we need to go to the precision of each second only so we'll go to one second rather than 0 0.01 second and the rounding will be round normal all what we have to do just make sure that you press the arrow before you exit enter the settings to our uh, drawings we we'll go OK and apply and OK as you can see the format of the pairing has been changed to what we desire and that's what we are after okay so to do the same thing for all the allotments all what we have to do just select one of them go to add labels multiple segments selecting the parcel clockwise enter all I have to do from now on just selecting each one and press enter that will add the labels for that segment so I enter so all I have to do just select them one by one and press enter 
done. We escaped a couple of times. So as you can see, we, we labeled all these areas and the properties that will give us straight away or the bearing and the distance for each one of them. So if I need to, for a reason or another, if I need to reverse that bearing, all I have to do is just click on it and we can choose reverse label. That will give us the bearing in the other direction. And you can always just simply click on reset label. That will bring it back to where it was before. Okay. I'll just go ahead and subdivide all the allotments quickly without looking into the design factor just to show you another feature that we can uh, use on, on AutoCAD Civil 3D I'll just go ahead and design all of those allotments quickly Okay, for these four blocks, we agreed to change the format on those to be 150 square meters and 7 meters wide. Okay, so I'll press escape a couple of times, simply I'm not going to add the labels for all of them for now um, and I didn't look into the design for the boundaries and all the other components that we discussed that you have to look into while you're doing your design but we need to get to a point that if we need to renumber as you can see we created those allotments in a very random order and this is not a good layout to be shown for numbering these allotments it can't be allotment number one here number five there, number 10 here. So we have to make them in a some kind of order so they will be more organized. So to do that, we can just simply select one of those parcel labels and that will give us the option from the contextual ribbon for the parcel to renumber or rename these allotments. So if I click on that, it will ask me the starting number is one and the increment value is one obviously and we'll go okay it's asking to specify the path for our renumbering all we have to do is simply just draw a line or put a line or you will see now how we're marking these numbering so i need to renumber all these allotments from this point here so i'll choose that direction press enter that will give me the option to move to the other allotments. As you can see, the numbering is not changed yet. It's just collecting the, trying to get a bigger picture of what allotments has to be renumbered first, and then we can renumber them for you. So I, I need those to be renumbered. I need all of this to be number, renumbered that way. So I click by mistake, I clicked enter twice. That's not a problem because if I choose again to renumber, I know all of those being renumbered. I'm, I should start from this point here. If I select that and I go renumber again, that will pick the last number where we finished. So the last one we finished with was allotment number 49. So straight away, so the 3D will start counting from number 50. We we'll say okay. Make sure, for example, I, I made a mistake by crossing this block twice or crossing this block before I cross to that. So make sure you uh, you do the right thing. So if I if you make a mistake, just control Z, that will bring you back. So make sure you cross the lines properly. Enter. 
press enter and that will recalculate all the numbers so we've got now all the allotments being renumbered starting from this side of the development all the way to the uh, other side of the development one of the last things that we can do on our development if we need to present our development in a table way but just to show all the allotments names numbers and mainly what we will be interested about is the area of each allotment we can just create a table simply by clicking on one of those allotments again that will open the contextual ribbon uh, for the parcel family and we can choose add a table so if we adding a table we need to add table for areas we're not interested about segments we're not interested about lines and curves we are interested about the areas so add the area this is the type of table that we currently going to produce we can the same as what we've done before we can amend that so to amend that we can go create new or we can copy the current selection and amend that so let's copy that let's change it to the area again parcel number and area let's see what data in it so we currently have the parcel number the area there's the parameter of each parcel we don't need this click on it and just go to delete and we've got the segment length so that will show us all the segments or the parcel segments and the length of each one of them and the bearing of each one we don't want this this is too much information you don't need to show it on a table we're just deleting that uh, click on the title at the top and delete title and delete so all what we need to show is the parcel number and the area this is the configuration of the table and the text on it the size and the number of rows and columns we're not worrying about this because we can change it down the track if we need to and we can sort the data by column one ascending that means we're starting from allotment one all the way up to the last allotment we have and that will show us the area for each one of them okay so we go okay all right so we created the format of our table now the the main thing we need to look into how to add these parcels into this table so we've got a lot of parcels here too many of them and we need to add them to the table we can simply just go and select them one by one that will take very long time instead we can select them based on the label style so the label style that we just created which is the area and the number if I select that one between them which is parcel area and square meters and number if I click on that that means bring each parcel that has that label style and add it to our label so that will look into the parcels here which one of these parcels they have this type of label the parcel area and square meters and number and we'll add it to our proposed table we have the option here to add existing and new or just existing for example if i click add existing and new and after we finished i've done some amendments to this allotment here it's too large i broke it down to another two allotments that means we created an extra allotment here that will straight away take that allotment information and add it to the table because this is a new allotment being created after we created the table so if i go okay it's asking where do you want to place the table we'll say to place the tables here and as you can see this has created a table with all the allotments from parcel 1 all the way to parcel 251 and showing the areas for each one of these parcels so usually it's easier to go through the table and see if there's an odd area and review what, what's the problem about it what can we do to minimize that area there one of those odd numbers that you may see there is this large number at the end this is allotment 251 if you go back to the prospector to the sites and the parcels if i select a parcel 251 this is obviously the road parcel that's why it does have a larger area comparing to all the other parcels all right guys that concludes 
almost everything we need to know at this stage about parsers or our tutorial one about parsers. Try to do the example we went through in the class and try to do all the tasks that we went through in this tutorial here. And if you have any issues, we can discuss next week.